Speaking of quirky lines, let's look at Lando Norris, who does something very unconventional in the wet. And he's done a very methodical driver these days, Lando. He's trying to piece things together in practice rather than just do the quickest time all the time. And this was in Barcelona last year in FP3, 2023. Quiet track, starts raining. Everyone puts the jackets on, has a bit of a coffee and a chill. Lando hit the track and did something very random here. To the outside, it looks like he's lost the pot a little bit, coming through, going off the road on the inside of turn nine there in damp conditions on the intermediate tires. We play it through again down towards the hairpin here. And once again, drives through the corner and uh, drives off the road and then just has a little fight with the car as well, trying to get it back on. He's doing things very, very differently is, uh, is Lando in this wet bit of driving whilst everyone else is waiting in the pits. He's trying to establish where he can drive and where he can't. And you can see that on board now here, drives to the apex just to see if there's a little bit of grip on this curb and can he take it if there's a wet, meaningful session later on. You can see that even more clearly as we head down towards this, uh, this tight left-hander at turn 10, steers in. Now he's actually looking for this, does a little aggressive steering, aggressive throttle, just to try and feel the grip on that bit of runoff there to try and get some data in his head. Again, finding the curb in a really random place there on the apex of turn 12. You never normally take that, but in the wet, Lando tries to try and take as many curbs as he can, tries to open up the corners. And if there's grip there, he will use it. And this is him trying to find the, the grip. From the outside, you can't really tell if he's found it or not, but in his own head, he'll be able to know from steering inputs, from braking inputs and throttle, if the grip's there and when the speed's up, can he take it? And what it means is, at high speed in the meaningful sessions, you get a Norris driving lines like this. So Verstappen on the right, Norris on the left, Spa 2021. This is in Q2 and look, Lando abusing track limits on the apex of this right-hander here in the bus stop. He was very quick on this day before he crashed in Q3 and he does a really different line, a different style to so many other drivers, battering the curbs, opening up the corners as much as possible, having high minimum speeds. And that was one example for, uh, for Lando Norris. And you can see even more clearly how he was in Canada last year as well, in 2023. Once again, putting that into practice, we turn in towards turn three, and this is Norris in your top left, Alonso in your top right, Esteban Ocon in the Alpine in the bottom left, Verstappen in the bottom right. So you've got four different drivers, all very strong in the wet. And you can see Norris taking more curb than most, Verstappen taking a little bit here as well. Esteban Ocon is very kind with the curbs in the wet. He's actually avoids them more than anyone else. And Fernando Alonso tries to open up the corners and get his usual smooth exits. You see, once again, coming into turn nine here, a very similar thing. Norris battering the curbs on the turn in, on the first apex, Ocon avoiding them, Verstappen and Alonso taking a little bit, but Norris is particularly aggressive. And it means he can carry great speed into these corners at the cost, probably, of having a settled corner in the middle. He's got to use a lot of car control. He's got to fight it. But again, Lando's a driver with superb car control and he can scoop it up and somehow make a decent lap time of that as well. So let's have a look more specifically at some of the drivers then. Max Verstappen, always good in the wet, so many strong wins, so many brilliant performances. And the, probably the biggest thing about Max is the way that he drives and the lines that he takes in the wet. Naturally, he's got an amazing feel. He's one of the gifted drivers who has all the sensors in his body to, uh, to know where the grip is and he's got car control to match it. So does Lewis Hamilton. But look at the way they come down towards this right-hander in Spa and the difference in line they take. Max right around the outside of it at this stage. Lewis on a more conventional line on the inside. This is in Q3 in 2021, very wet weekend in Belgium. And you can see the difference in line here where they're just finding grip in different places. Lewis on the conventional line, Max doing something different, running the karting style lines around the outside, not troubling an apex still fighting the car through to the exit, whilst Lewis drives much more conventional lines, opening up the corner as much as possible, opening the radius, but maybe not having the same apex speed as he's got to wait for the car to turn a little bit more. It was the same in, uh, in that corner as it is in this one coming up here through Fania. We come up again, right-hander, and once again, Hamilton right to the apex point. Verstappen really wide of it, not bothered about the apex. He wants to stay away from the rubbered in part from, uh, from other times in the weekend and before. So something that Verstappen's done for a while, this was him attacking Nico Rosberg. This is back in 2016, famous race for uh, Max Verstappen where he was quite incredible and uh, drives a different line up the hill, trying to get out the spray initially of, uh, of Rosberg. They come up towards the start finish line. Verstappen again, breaking way off line. Rosberg and Hamilton on, uh, on the more conventional line in the two Mercedes. Verstappen able to break offline, get right onto the tail of the Mercedes ahead. 
This is Nico Rosberg fighting for the title. Max Verstappen meddling, and he manages to get past the Mercedes here. Going so far wide once again in turn three. You very rarely see an overtake like that, but Max was finding the grip in unconventional places and put in an absolutely superb drive that weekend to, uh, to get back to a podium in the end.